colliding with the wall, had not not colliding with each other. They exert forces on the wall. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the pressure is produced, is generated, and yes, and calculate better forces on the of those molecules divided by the area of the wall of the container. Oh, so not each other. Mm -hmm. okay. This is another answer from oh the here. <laughs> okay. yeah. Let me uh, pull it somewhere. Okay, that's kind of small to see. Huh? Can you like uh, decrease the width? Horizontal width of the of your answer so that I can put a picture here on the right. Like this? Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay. Uh, okay. According to this answer, at the molecular level, gas particles are in constant random motion, moving in all directions and bouncing off each other and the walls of the container. As particles collide with the walls, they transfer some of their momentum to the walls. I have you haven't learned momentum, right? No, no, no. Sorry, I remember okay. now. We've learned it. Yeah, we've learned the momentum. Yes. Transfer their the momentum to the wall. Momentum is uh, the the reason of the force. The force is actually the change of momentum divided by the time exerting a force on the wall. So. If you don't remember about the word momentum, which I uh, intentionally ignore that, ignore the word momentum because it's kind of difficult to understand, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, but I did um, suggest you to use the, the word force, exerting force on the walls. Mm -hmm. The collective effect, meaning the sum the, of all the forces of each molecule acting on the wall, huh? So that is the, the other word, uh, collective effect, huh? Yeah. So it's like, um, the normal language, like uh, when you write an article for other people and hear your um, answer is like more um, concise and short, but accurate enough, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, the collective effect of all the gas particles colliding with the walls of a container is the pressure that we observe. The pressure of the gas is defined as the force per unit area, meaning the force divided by the area, huh? Exerted mm. by the gas on the wall of the container, mathematically, pressure can be calculated by the product of the number of gas particles in a given volume, the average speed of the particle, and the average collisions frequency. The, the second part below here is kind of complicated, and it's like for uh, A level or something higher. Oh. And they do not ask you to be that specific. Huh? So this uh, answer here, including three main ideas, the first idea is the random motion of the molecule. The yes. second idea is the collision between those molecules and the wall, okay? And the last, the third idea is uh, the pressure is uh, the forces, the, the sum of the forces of the molecule divided by the area. Three okay. ideas, three marks, okay? Mm -hmm. Question C. State what uh, are you sure you got it? Yes, the three idea. Yes, pay attention to the mark like two idea. There are two marks here. Um, for the question A, there are two marks. One mark is for uh, the random arrow in any direction, the second mark is for the length of the arrows, could be longer and shorter. Okay, okay. Question C, state what would happen to the pressure if you push the piston into the container without changing the temperature. Just try thinking about it. Uh, open a textbook or somewhere or even ask Google. Okay. <laughs> because self-study is a very important skill. Mm. Uh, Kristen in the container without changing it. Oh, oh, I already know this. Okay, so mm. um, the pressure would increase because there is like less area, which means... That's uh, volume. Less oh, space. Less space. Mm -hmm. Less volume, meaning the, the, the density increases, the particle, the molecules are closer to each other. Yes. So, and so, so what? What happened next? More collision. When the molecules are closer to each other, they uh, 
the forces they pushes each other they push each other are stronger uh-huh. and they will move faster they will collide harder to the wall producing greater pressure mm-hmm. okay. the, the, but the point here wait 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 the point here if without changing temperature and you haven't learned about the true meaning of temperature but temperature is directly related to the kinetic energy the speed of the molecule directly related later you learn that like in next month oh. about the second topic thermal physics directly mm-hmm. related to uh, the uh, kinetic energy the movement of the molecule yes of the particles the molecules and therefore same temperature means uh, the speed of the every speed of the particle does not change. Oh, okay. Average, but the reason for the increase of the pressure is because the particle collide with the wall and collide with each other more often, more often. For example, when the volume is big. Now they can collide with the wall once a, a second or 100 times a second. But when reducing the volume, they can collide with the wall 200 times a second, increasing mm-hmm. the frequency. Mm-hmm. Okay, The average speed of the molecule is the same. Okay. So molecule, let, let me finish writing this and I uh, <laughs> will say the answer The like two main ideas and then please uh, write your answer later of the molecules stay the same the every state of the molecule is the same okay in summary the pressure increases because as the volume decreases the molecules are closer to each other they uh, collide with each other and collide with the wall more often more often transferring more force, more momentum to the wall and producing greater pressure. Kind of long, huh? Can you like uh, make it shorter? (laughs) Okay. Okay. The Um, molecule interact with each other, they put each other, uh, just ignore that. They are closer to each other, the molecule are closer to each other, okay? And they collide with the wall more often, more often is the key, okay? The, The frequency. More often, and therefore produce greater energy, uh, greater pressure. More often, increase uh, producing more pressure. Mm-hmm. They collide with the wall, the wall more often, more often. That is a key. Yes. Collide. Producing uh, greater pressure, have more pressure. Uh, okay. you, uh, like uh, reduce the uh, horizontal width, the width. Of mm. okay, like that. Okay, good. You got it, right? Yes. Mm. Let's see if I can find a simulation about that. Um, air pressure. Oh, I remember now. There's a website that I can do that uh, about molecules. Heat. Um, that website is called Fed. And it is kind of popular. Many, a lot of teachers use this uh, simulation FET. And perhaps in your school now or later, there will be some teacher using this simulation website. Mm-hmm. You know, the connection the internet uh, of Vietnam now connecting to other nations is terrible. <laughs> yeah. We have uh, like six cables connecting from Vietnam to Hong Kong, Singapore, six cables and five of them broken. <gasps> what happened? <laughs> Gas properties. <laughs> and it they broke uh, every year. And we, we still pay the same amount of money, even more. <gasps> no makeup, I know for customer. Okay, here's the simulation. 
this this website oh our physics teacher showed us this too mm -hmm. i told you it's very popular <laughs> uh, i'm pumping some air into this container and wait a uh, some time so that uh, let me ex let some of them escape because wait wait how do i ex let them escape or uh, let me refresh the simulation just a little bit of gas, not that much, huh? <laughs> uh, but we are observing a simulation, uh, meaning a model, which is not actually real because in in reality, the molecule move a lot, a lot faster than this simulation. The molecule mm -hmm. uh, of the air, oxygen, nitrogen around us in our room, in your room right now, mm -hmm. those molecules are moving at a speed of 400 to 500 meter per second, extremely fast. Mm -hmm. And here the simulation, these particles move very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot, uh, but because of this slow motion, we can observe their movement, okay? They collide with each other and colliding with the walls mm -hmm. around in the container, okay? Yeah. Um, just observe carefully how often they collide with the wall, how often. The temperature now is 300 Kelvin, which is um, 27 degrees uh, Celsius. 27 degrees, like the normal average temperature in a day in uh, this city now. Mm. And if we reduce the size of the container, there, do you see that these particles collide with the wall more often? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they will collide with the wall more often because there are now less space, less space for them to move. Meaning the average distance between each tar two times they collide with each other is much uh, shorter than when the volume is big. Huh? Mm -hmm. The volume is big, they are more space, they can move a longer distance before colliding with another one. Yeah. But now reducing the, the volume, less space, they move shorter distance and collide, collide, collide with each other so often, so crowded, so uncomfortable. <laughs> Too many people in a room, tiny room, okay? And they have mm -hmm. a lot of collision. The frequency of collision is higher, and therefore more force, more momentum is transferred to the wall, producing greater pressure. Are you seeing pressure now? With this uh, small container, it's 22 ATM. The normal atmospheric pressure the pressure in your room of the atmosphere right now is mm -hmm. only one ATM. So the pressure here, 22 ATM, is 22 times greater than the normal atmospheric pressure, which is very high. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but when I increase the size of the container like this, the pressure decreases significantly. Now it is about seven. Okay. Yes. So the, the point is the frequency of collision, more um, times of collision, greater pressure. Hmm. The next question, uh, when the gas in the container is heated, the piston moves outwards, play the text against the three correct, three correct statements. Uh, okay. Um... The, okay. okay, not this one, the mask not, stays the same, yes, oh, I can't, okay, yes, <clears throat> the mass of the gap particle is the same, yes, it's correct, the mass cannot change, uh, the gas particles move faster, the gas will move faster exactly because the temperature is now higher mm. uh, in the, heat, the thermal energy here. Yeah. And lastly, which one is also correct? This one. The piston moves outward. Every distance between gas will increase exactly. Well done. Yeah, oh. those are three correct statements. Okay. Because now the volume is greater, there are more space, huh? Every mm -hmm. distance, like the uh, simulation here, mm -hmm. longer distance that it can move before colliding with another one. 